the greatest mysteries of our universe remain, but it is fair to say that experts are slowly unraveling them. A hot topic when speaking about space is Mars. Mars has grown a lot of popularity over recent years due to all the stories in mainstream media. Also, a lot of popular people such as Elon Musk have been responsible for the big blow-up of attention Mars has been getting recently. Elon Musk has some amazing ideas for Mars but that story will be for another video. Without any further ado, we are going to jump right into why you clicked on this video. To listen to a Martian dust storm. This noise has been captured by the Mars rover. The sound is of Martian dust flying around in a storm and hitting the Mars rover. Now listen carefully. You will also hear this noise randomly throughout the video. Key information about the extreme weather on the red planet could be revealed by an unprecedented audio recording. The first audio recording of a dust devil on Mars surface reveals that a massive dust storm that engulfed the Mars Perseverance rover in September 2021 was 390.4 feet, 119 meters, tall. The recording whose analysis was published in the journal Nature Communications on Tuesday, December 13, also provides brand new details about how these brief phenomena move dust around the red planet. Lead author Naomi Murdoch, a physicist at the National Higher French Institute of Aeronautics and Space, Isi Supero, at the University of Toulouse in France, stated, We can hear the noise of particles impacting the rover. These effects permit us to include the number of particles that were in the vortex. Murdoch added that this is the first time such a measurement has been taken on Mars. The importance of dust. Dust is everywhere on Mars and in the air. The climate and weather on Mars are both influenced by and influenced by its movement. Murdoch stated that modeling the climate on Mars and planning missions to the planet both require an understanding of dust movements. The dust has damaged the wind sensors on the Perseverance spacecraft, and dust has accumulated on the solar panels of the InSight lander, reducing the power available for scientific monitoring. When warm air close to the ground rises and rotates, it lifts dust with it, causing dust devils. The Yezero Hole where the steadiness meanderer is investigating, is a prime area for dust fiends. Murdoch and her colleagues claim that the rover's Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, MEDA, which measures things like temperature, humidity, dust, and wind, has captured at least 91 dust devils in close proximity to the vehicle. However, on September 27, 2021, an unprecedented event occurred, the rover was right overtaken by a dust devil. During the vortex impact, META's instruments collected data, Perseverance's navigation cameras captured images, and Perseverance's SuperCam microphone recorded the event's sound. Towering Vortex Murdoch and her team discovered that the storm was 82 feet, 25 meters, across and nearly 10 times wider than the rover by combining these three sources of data. The tornado was roughly 40 stories tall and measured 390.4 feet. The enormous storm was moving at 11.8 miles per hour, 19 kilometers per hour, and had peak winds of 24.8 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. However, Mars' atmosphere is significantly thinner than Earth's. This intends that, regardless of whether the breeze speed is high, because of the modest number of particles in the Martian climate, the power of the breeze is a lot more modest than on the planet. The majority of the dust in a typical dust devil is contained within the vortex's walls. 
In any case, the residue hit the meanderer in three particular explodes, two walls, and a dust storm in the focal point of the residue field. Unusual was the accumulation of dust inside the dust devil. This is an essential component of modeling both dust devils and dust storms, although today we still don't understand exactly how dust is lifted from the surface of Mars. We have demonstrated that we can directly observe and characterize the conditions under which dust lifting takes place using the microphone. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.